Hi everyone. What are the differences between ResearchGate and Academia.edu? Well, certainly both are um, social media networks for academics, for researchers, for scientists. And um, but which is which one is the right one when it comes to um, principles like open science, transparency, or collaboration? So. Um, how do both networks and platforms position themselves um, with regards to future developments in, in the science community? Um, that, that was a question I was struggling with because I was um, trying to choose for one. And um, I, I looked, what I, first what I did was um, I went on both websites and um, I just had a bit of a look uh, on the about sections of both websites, platforms. And what came, what became um, quite apparent is that ResearchGate, um, if you look at the About Us page, very much emphasizes um, the collaboration aspect of science. So um, it, they are sort of transparent when it comes to the founders, so who founded the network and so on, and the mission um, to share, to collaborate, to connect, um, to get data, to have really um, a sort of quant quantifiable, um, to have quantifiable measures. But when you, for example, when you look at the team, in, well, yes, I see photos of the, the, the people working at ResearchGate, but I have no idea who these people are. Um, and furthermore, I cannot find any sort of block or, yeah, well, oh, hang on, they have news. Oh, that's that block. Okay, so let's have a look at the block. Um, so as, as, you, as you can see, um, they have their own block on their own website. Um, so they, apparently they seem to try to have everything on their platform um, using their own tools. Whereas if you look at academia, what I found very interesting and um, very different from ResearchGate is, I mean, look at how they present the team. Um, it's, it seemed to be much more transparent. Um, they have um, a, a profile for, for each employee, for each member of the team. Um, you have the names. You, you have ways to connect to them. So, so it's in contrast to ResearchGate, it's, it's actually the, the, the real um, collaboration aspect because, I, I mean, I have no means to contact um, the team, for example, personally, whereas here on, on Academia, I, I could if I want. And um, that's, that's a first. So um, Academia seems to be much more transparent to me. And... Um, an interesting connection you might notice is when you look at the, the investors and um, you read Shuttleworth, which is the founder of Ubuntu, um, the Linux distribution. So they seem to have connections, at least um, philosophical connections and, 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 and belief, connections in terms of beliefs to the open source, open software movement, which for me, at least, it's, it's much more... Um, much more positive and, and, um, than, than ResearchGate, where I don't find any of these um, connections uh, mentioned. And then, um, then, then comparing the, the block of, from, of ResearchGate, which, as I said, like it's, it's on their platform, if you look at the block from Academia, um, you will see, oh, they, they kind of use um, external platforms, they use Medium. And at least what my feeling from the, from the past was that, that um, companies that, or movements, initiatives that follow sort of that open science, transparency um, idea, um, they often block on Medium. Um, it's, it's sort of that community and having academia on Medium um, also, at least to me, tells, tells me something about um, their idea and beliefs in in um, sharing and exchanging with other initiatives and in contrast to having your own blog on your own platform, trying to attract your own 
um, visitors to your domain, um, that's different on academia. So, I mean, this is not a, a really thorough um, review on, of both platforms, but on the first glance, I, I would probably choose, I mean, I have an account on both um, because until now, I didn't really know the difference. I thought, ah, well, whatever, um, re just an account on both. But I think now I would probably choose for academia. Um, and if you would just go for the kind of hard figures, then um, academia is much bigger. It has 26 million users as of um, October 2015, whereas ResearchGate has, um, I've read it somewhere, um, it's, it's 8 million as of October 2015. I'm not sure where it's now, but at least it's, it's on Wikipedia. So if you go on Wikipedia research, research gate, then you see like oh, 7 million. So um, I hope that was useful um, for choosing the right platform. And um, if you have any questions or if you have something to add to that discussion, I'm happy to read your comment. Thank you.